When will NOLA games learn that there's people like me that will find every bug possible? Well, this might take a second. Alright, now that that only took about five minutes uh, and we're done with the intro. So, NOLA games said that they had patched the intense concentrated light bug. They did... they put a bandage on it. So, it doesn't trigger off of homing or uh, boomerang anymore that I found out. It, it still possibly could trigger, but the, the way that I'd originally done it... Uh, that isn't too, um, like, it, it doesn't have the same results, but this does. And this was found out by Blockgun when, uh, they were watching, uh, Fury Forger's stream. So, the, the intense concentrated light bug, pretty much, in a nutshell, any modifiers, uh, that modify projectiles, uh, will be pretty much semi-infinite now. So, as you saw, the damage field was up there for quite a bit. We fired probably about six or so, and uh, it did uh, about 35,000 damage. So, it's pretty pretty decent. Um, and this can be done with pretty much any wand. I did put it like this so it could rapid fire. And this wand reads all these manas to... Uh, to compensate for the uh, intense concentrated light cost. And then I also have a reduced lifetime on there. So reduced lifetime only affects the projectiles coming out of the spell. And that's why you you don't see the little scarab spawn. So without it, it makes a, a, a super neat uh, pattern. But... It creates unnecessary particles, and especially when that took five minutes, I don't want any more particles. So, I, I throw this on there, and then the the way that this works is any spell that is cast... Or sorry. The way this works is intense concentrated light can proc itself. So, I bet they're going to patch this too, even though I love it. And uh, that's why I want to get it out there so people can mess with it before it gets patched. So you you can do this with just um, like a normal wand. Like this one, it doesn't have anything except the bare minimum. Well, I, I say bare minimum, but like the extreme bare minimum. So like this is how many... Uh, you can cast with a single hexacast. You can probably cast more and all that stuff, but... This is this is just going to cast six modifiers of damage field, and it's going to be semi-infinite. So it's going to look like this. So about 4,000 damage. That's pretty good. Uh, and you can do it with anything. So this is only going to cast these two with this modifier, and it's going to look like this. So, based off of how many you cast, the modifier will be affected as well. So, with that being said, we can go back to our shenanigans, which are spawning a bunch of tentacles. And, um, with uh, melee immunity, it is super great. The next clips could trigger seizures for individuals with photosensitive epilepsy. Viewer discretion is advised. And then, like always, we'll get progressively more destructive. So this is the next one. And then there's lightning. So yeah, go try out this bug, it's pretty fun. And then we'll end it on some fire. As always, have a wonderful evening, noon, and night. Goodbye!